Assistant Deputy Parrish, Douglas County Sheriff's Office. Our first look at the ambush. Yes, we can help you. I'm at the Sheriff's Office right here, man. That started as a call for help and ended in a barrage of gunfire. Denver 7 starts right now. Tonight, we are getting our first look at the shooting that killed Deputy Zachary Parrish on New Year's Eve. Well, the Douglas County Sheriff's Office shared that body camera video this afternoon. Denver 7 investigative reporter Ryan Luby has uh, been going over these new developments. And Ryan, this is really tough to watch. Yeah, it is tough to watch. And to be clear, the Sheriff's Office edited this version of the video. You don't see or hear the gunman. You don't see Deputy Parrish get shot. But you do see and hear officers doing their absolute best to defuse the situation as best they could. Deputy Parrish, Douglas County Sheriff's Office. Hey, Matt, it's Zach. Yes, we can help you. I'm at the Sheriff's Office right here, man. We can talk out here. I just want to make sure you're okay. If you've ever doubted how dangerous police work can quickly become, let this remind just... you. He's going through a mannequin, so we're going to take him. Put him in one. Let the Sheriff tell you. And at 557, this is what took place. Over the course of 8 minutes and 28 seconds, the Douglas County Sheriff's Office provides this sanitized version of what took place the early hours of New Year's Eve in Highlands Ranch when a gunman having some sort of mental health crisis came unhinged. Between that time and 7.30, the suspect also shot two citizens in adjoining apartment complexes. Indeed, Sheriff Tony Spurlock says so much gunfire killed Deputy Parrish almost immediately and injured the three other deputies and police officer. He also says he's proud of the men and women who worked the call that night. They did exactly what they were trained to do. And he leaves us with this. May God bless Zach Parrish. God bless the Douglas County Sheriff's Office and our Douglas County community. Live life like Zach Parrish. You can watch the entire video put together by the Sheriff's Office. We have a link on the DenverChannel.com right now. Obviously, questions remain about some of the specifics of what transpired that night. Sheriff Spurlock is scheduled to speak with us tomorrow. We do hope you can join us. Oh, for that. Ryan. That is so yeah, troubling. Oh, it really is. All right. Thank yeah. you, Ryan. Now, Denver Police and Fire.